Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Paranormal News. Today's article comes from the Rocky Mountain Sasquatch Organization. And the headline is Eye to Eye Bigfoot Encounter, Mount St. Helens. It was published November 15th, 2021. Matt Fisher writes RMSO and comments on YouTube. I had the most terrifying encounter back in 2017, hunting in big timber around Mount St. Helens. I was always kind of skeptical, but not now. They are here for sure, and when you encounter one, it may be the scariest thing you've ever had happen. I was so scared to go back in the woods, but I do, and am always on alert. They are huge, can move fast. The tree knocks they do are terrifying when it happens 30 yards from you in dark timber. Every hair on my body stood up within a second. I processed anything that could have possibly did the tree knock, and there is no animal that can do it. So then I was really nervous. I flipped my gun on fire and was praying that no one was out there messing with me. But I knew there was no one. I was in the middle of nowhere, and there are no roads within miles of where I was. It took me a good four hours to hike in, and then it walked out in front of me and just stood there watching me. I couldn't even pull my gun up. I was so nervous, just looking straight eye to eye. He turned and just walked away slowly, and when he got out of sight, which was maybe 30 yards in the timber, he yelled so loud, it freaked me out, and I ran up the mountain for like a thousand yards until my heart felt like it was going to explode. And that is the end of this article. Now this one is a short one, but it brings up a very important point that I have said before on episodes of staring and episodes of paranormal news when I do about Bigfoot. And that is that the place where he spotted this Bigfoot was miles away from any road. He had to hike in for hours and hours and hours just to get to the spot where he was hunting, I guess, to, to see the, the Bigfoot. Now, a lot of times, that's when the best sightings occur, is way far away from mankind. And I've had people say before in the past that Bigfoot can't be real because if Bigfoot was real, we would have found him by now. But that's not necessarily true. There's a lot of places where there's still a lot of wilderness that you can hike in for miles and miles and miles and never come across a road or any sign of civilization. And I think it's in these places where you're going to find decent concentrations of Bigfoot. So that's the reason I brought this one to you, because it's very interesting. And I like the fact that he flat out tells you that he was scared. Now, he says he was so nervous that he couldn't even lift his gun up. And nervous is man code for scared s -less. In other words, he was about to soil himself. He was so scared. But men usually don't say, hey, we're scared. We'll say we're nervous or apprehensive or worried or something like that, but never scared. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this article. Let me know down in the comments section what you guys think. And as always, it's up to you to make up your own minds. Until I speak to you again, love many, trust few, and do harm to none. God loves you, and so do I. Bye-bye.